Yo, yo, it's been a while. Um, so today we're going to get into upgrading the firmware um, on your HackRF Porter Pack. Also, if you got a new SDR, so the actual portion of the HackRF one, right, this guy right here, if you got a new one, how to install it, and then how to upgrade your firmware, and then as well as how to upgrade your firmware on the SD card, um, going back to the DFU systems, and then as well as uh, some other little issues here and there. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. <clears throat> this is my old unit. Um, this is the one that came with my actual um, port pack when I bought it off of AliExpress. You can see right there it says Hacker F1. So this unit uh, did not have the ability to resist uh, an overload on the antenna um, on the amp. So this amp on this one is actually blown. Um, so what I did is I got on AliExpress and I went and got the Clifford uh, Heath one I believe is, is what it, it is and it is the updated one so we're going to pull these two units apart gently this is always fun right there we go alright so you can see here this is the upgraded one this is Hacker F1 this one was made of March in 2024 you can see down here we got the actual says Great Scott Gadgets on it, so this might be a legit unit compared to the clone from AliExpress. You can see the difference in the board color um, and just the overall build on this one seems a lot more robust than this guy does. So uh, that's pretty much it. The only thing I wish they had done and hopefully in the next version of whatever comes of the um, hacker F system uh, I really want USB-C right like that would be amazing to have USB-C implemented into these because um, micro USB is way outdated um, so one of the issues I've been having with this system uh, with mine is on this board when I had the original board I noticed that my battery started depleting pretty fast I would get maybe 15 minutes max um, I have not found this exact replacement with these dimensions to fit here. I did order a battery from Amazon that was pretty close, but it was too thick. So whenever I married the board, the two boards together, um, I could not get it to seal properly because the battery I had ordered from Amazon was too thick. So I'll return it and I'll keep on the hunt for the appropriate battery. So if any of you have the actual battery that goes in this unit, please comment down below. Um, I had a guy reach out regarding SD cards. Uh, SD cards, uh, 32 gigs is your max. Um, it's, it's all you really need to. Um, so 32 gigs is the max. I wouldn't go any higher than that. Um, any brand is fine. Um, I've been actually getting the SanDisk Extremes in, for most of my devices now. and am swapping them over because they are more um, robust, I guess, is a term that they are made for industrial use so you can read and write a thousand times more than you can on a, that you can on a standard SD card so um, you can look at the uh, SanDisk Extreme cars they're pretty cheap too um, so uh, where are we going with this now um, we discussed the battery we discussed SD card if you're having issues with your battery drainage check your firmware um, sometimes firmware up, uh, updates can throw off battery uh, life so just go with the most stable release of uh, the mayhem uh, you can also check your clock battery maybe your clock battery is bad and that's causing other things to fail so swap that out as well um, always refer to the documentation on the um, github page for the porter pack mayhem if you have any uh, more concerns there's plenty of really good well written areas on how to troubleshoot your board from there or how to troubleshoot your system so check that out but um, when I got the new board in um, from AliExpress this one was 49 bucks just FYI I paid for it with my own money um, it did not come flashed with mayhem so that was a issue that I had to then go and flash it and to do that we're gonna just kind of go Back to the whole DFU video that we did previously, right? So to flash these boards, we're going to hold down 
this button right here, this is the DFU button, if you don't know. We're gonna use my Sparrows lock pick right here. You can see that it says DFU right there. And then the other side says reset. So to throw your board into DFU mode, we're gonna hold that down while plugging in your USB micro cable. And then you're gonna see this green light pop up. That's the light you want. So now we're gonna to go to the desktop Mayhem GitHub page. We're gonna to go to Mayhem Firmware. From there we can scroll down. There's great documentation here to kind of tell you which boards are good, what is what on the boards. Uh, there's some video links that you can also follow if you have any questions. Um, Mine are not up there, um, but you can look at uh, Snorin, uh, I forgot this guy's name, and then of course Talking Squatch, and then uh, the newest one is by Linus Tech Tips. So that kind of helps there. Uh, if you want to recommend, recommend my videos to the GitHub page, please do so. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's go down here. We can keep going down. They can show you kind of which boards are bad and which ones are good. And then here's the latest releases. We can go here to the latest versions. So the latest version is 2.0.1. And you can go there to download or you can go to the nightly releases as well. Uh, documentation is found at the, at the bottom. How can I collaborate? Documentation. So right here we can go in and look at every single little feature that the Porter Pack Hacker F1 offers. So, you've seen this before, if you watched a few, my, a few of my videos, the troubleshooting portion is what we're after. Uh, you got won't boot, config menu, firmware upgrade, um, windows, yada, 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 right? So we're gonna go to firmware upgrade. Since this is a brand new unit, um, I know that there was no firmware installed on it, and that's gonna be the case of a lot of the units that you may be getting um, if you're just buying the board. If you buy a completed kit from, say, um, Rabbit Labs, uh, eBay, or AliExpress, or another area that sells legit units, more than likely they will come flash with the latest firmware. So whether that be 1.9.1 uh, .1 or um, 2.0, who knows, but more than likely they will come flashed. If they don't, do yourself the favor, go ahead and tear apart your system, okay? So you're gonna unscrew the four screws in the housing, right? Take the housing off. You're gonna gently, 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 gently pull these two boards apart, and then you just want this board. Um, the documentation says that you can do a lot of the stuff with this. I found though that when I had the two boards married together and I was trying to DFU the system and get the, fir the upgraded firmware, it would not let me because it was reading uh, this as its own unit as well as the actual Hacker F1. So I am just going to tell you to take it apart, go straight to the raw board, okay? Go to the Hacker F1 board, okay? So with that being said, um, we're gonna go down here to DFU system. Now, if you're in Windows, it's pretty simple. Just follow the documentation, uh, download the latest firmware, um, go ahead and throw your board into DFU mode, and then just follow the procedure. It is super simple. I mean, just like double click and it pretty much does it all for you. It opens command prompt and then you hit enter, you run the script and bada bing bada bang, you're up, you're upgraded. So if you have, I saw a few comments regarding um, 1.4 point whatever, right? I downgraded my board to 1.4.0. I plugged in my actual um, Porter Pack unit my screen stayed black. No matter what I did, I could not get it to boot up to 1.4.0. But my um, Hacker F1 was running 1.4.0. So, not that that matters for anybody, but the guys that are stuck on 1.4.0, tear your system apart, take it apart, take your board off, throw it into DFU mode, right? So again, hold down DFU, plug that guy in, green light comes on, release, okay? Just do yourself the favor, jump right into the step. From here, go to the GitHub documentation, go to the firmware upgrade area, and then go to whatever system you're running, whether it's Windows, Win Mac, um, or Linux. I'm running Mac, so we're gonna be doing this on Macs. Uh, if I had a Windows uh, setup, I could do this on Windows, but 
Windows is super simple, just legit, just follow the, follow the system of what it says in the actual file. Um, and I can show you that here in a bit. So, uh, you know what, I'm gonna show you that right now. So, here is, you can look at my screen, I got Mayhem 1.4.3 firmware, right? This is what the package looks like if you were running 1.4.3, and for some reason you wanted to downgrade. This is what it looks like, okay? We don't need that. Download Mayhem 2.0.1. Go to driver, you're going to install that driver, this one right here, the dpinst.exe system, if you have not already done that on your Windows. Again, this is for Windows users only. After that, you're gonna to go to README, okay? README, launch it, and then again, you're in DFU mode, you're in DFU mode, right? So, because you, you can't get to HackerF mode, as it says, because your screen may not be showing up. And if you did, it may not register. So just skip that step, go to DFU mode, okay? Read this, right? Yeah, yeah, right? So, if you're in DFU mode, launch Flash Portapack Mayhem Bat, right? So that is gonna be this one right here. Double click that if you're on Windows, hit enter and let it run. If it doesn't work, do the DFU system first and then come back and do this one. After that, you should be good to then go to the next step of actually installing, or it may have already installed uh, Mayhem 2.0.1. From that point, you can unplug your board, plug in your port pack H2, reboot it, and your screen should turn on. If it doesn't, retry the steps again. If you're on Mac, you need to go, you know, and we're, we're running again, we're on, we're, we are on DFU. You need to install, um, brew install DFU util, right? So if we go to terminal here, and I already have things going here, so we're just gonna go to a new terminal screen, new window. So we're in Windows here in my terminal. You go to, and this is going to be a lot of copy and pasting, so just make it easy. You go to brew install, take that guy right there. You're going to just paste it in terminal and hit run. It's going to run its thing. And then it's going to just start downloading what that needs to download. So my system is already has that, so more than likely it's just going to update if it does any updating. Um, so right here you can see DFU util.11 is already installed and up to date. So there we go, okay? Simple enough. After that, we are in connect the device via USB, switch to DFU mode as we discussed. So, you know, we're plugged in. Now we're going to go upload the firmware with DFU till device, yada, 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 reset. Okay. So, download whatever version you need to, first of all, put it on your desktop, make it super simple. Okay. Just throw it on your desktop. If it's zipped, unzip it. From your desktop, you're going to go CD desktop. All right, so when you're ready to go into DFU mode, right, we're going to skip this guy right here because that's not going to be relevant to what we need to do right now, okay? We're going to unpackage our folder, right? Go ahead and go into your files, and I want you to find the HackerF1 USB DFU. So that's going to be under Utils, HackerF1 USB DFU. Go ahead and take that file and throw it onto your desktop, okay? I already have it on there, so I'm just going to put it back, put it back on there again. So once you have that file on there, we're going to copy this guy right here, download hacker F1 DFU, and then reset. Now it's on our desktop. We CD'd into our desktop. So our directory, our directory is now into our desktop. We're going to paste in that command and hit enter. Now it goes pretty fast. So what you see here is DFU compatible USB device. There's your device ID. Um, we're looking at the version here, and then you're gonna see this bunch of other command going through, and then you should be seeing download 100%. Download done. After that, you're gonna see this libusc error 10, that's perfectly normal. Once you're done with that, we're gonna unplug this guy, okay? We're gonna go ahead and put our boards back together, make sure all those pins line up as they should, top and bottom, side, side, squeeze them together and power it on and we are now running 
2.0.1, just like that. So I hope that explains it um, semi relevant for you or semi uh, cohesive maybe uh, where you can figure that out. Um, but if it doesn't, we can do this again really fast, right? So we're gonna tear these two boards apart. Again, if you're running whatever version you're running, get your boards apart, tear the whole system apart, just start from here. Okay, start at your Hacker F1, take that DFU button, plug it in, right? Green light goes on, okay. Back to our desktop, you download, you down, you already download Mayhem 2.0.1, okay? Go ahead and unpackage it, go to that utils folder, take that Hacker F1 USB DFU file right there, that one right there, put it on your desktop. On terminal, this works with uh, Linux as well, on terminal, CD, CD desktop. From there, you're gonna take this command right here, copy it, copy and paste that command, go to your terminal, command paste, run, and you just upgraded your system just like that. So that's the simplest way I can explain how to go from 1.4.0 to 2.0.1, or if you are having issues. From there, going forward, you can go into the Porter Pack Mayhem and you can use the the new and improved system of the the website to update so you can go to latest right and you can go to this area right here and you can connect device and you can then upgrade just from here i wonder if it's because we're not together let's try that let's put these two guys together and then let's try it again oh you know what i missed that pin Double check your pens when you put, these, when you put them together because I just missed mine by one pen on the slot. So just FYI with that, just double check the top, the sides, the bottom. Let's do this. All right, there it goes. So yeah, for some reason it just needed these two boards to be back together so it could register on the uh, website. So just be aware of that. Um, so connect device, there we have it. Port back mayhem, and then we can connect that guy, and then we can go loading, and then it'll bring up the desktop. And then from there, you can control this like any other system. You know, you can go to your menus. You know, you can go to DFU. You can go to reboot. Um, so simple as can be. Um, again, I hope that helps. Um, I'm going to try to simplify this to, my, to the best of my ability, and I'll slow it down because um, I know that I talk fast and I work fast. So I will try to slow it down a little bit. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I don't mind answering questions. Uh, please look at the documentation page on the um, actual uh, GitHub page. Okay. This is the unit I bought, um, the latest version. Of, I don't know if they have it in stock anymore. I, I can look for it. The other one, the other day, and I cannot find the De Clifford Heath version of stock. Just the board. If you wanted to upgrade just your board, uh, they do have the actual unit itself, um, but they don't. I haven't seen just the board in stock, so um, I don't know why. Maybe it got sold out. Maybe uh, there's a U.S. ban on them for unknown reasons. Who knows? Um, look at the reviews if you're going to buy one of these guys. Um, look at the seller ratings, uh, just like you would on any eBay purchase. Uh, just make sure that you're getting a, a legit unit. Um, I don't hate to see you guys waste your money and uh, BSOL. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, reach out. I don't mind answering. Like I said, yeah, see you next video.